success is not just about praying, it's about doing what is required of you. And when we do it, we can be sure where we are going. Now, I came across two, I had two word encounters in my early life. The first one is Proverbs 22, verse 29. Seest thou a man diligent in his business, he shall stand before kings, he shall not stand before me, man. Immediately I knew that your position tomorrow is not a function of your connections. Because you are connected to someone today and the man is dispositioned tomorrow, then your connection becomes vain. That's no meaning. That turned my life on. That was in 1982. 1983-84, I came across another word very dramatically. Reading from Deuteronomy 28, verse 1. And he said, My son, there's a place for you on top if you're interested. I said, I'm interested. Is anybody here who's not interested on, on top? Everybody desires it. When your son is first in class, you feel good. Oxygen looks more refreshing. CNN asked me, say, how do you feel when uh, they say you are the richest man? I said, I feel good. I mean, uh, what, how do you want me to feel? I feel good about it. Yeah, thank God they didn't say I was the poorest man. I mean, uh, I'm not the greatest thief. I said, thank God. He said, how do you, what do you think that people think about you? I said, I don't know because I'm not in their mind. What they think about me is their own opinion. opinion. It doesn't do anything with me, and I can't be going to say, What are you thinking about? <laughs> Somebody's changing level here. Yeah. How many excited to know that they have a heritage of exploit in Christ? Now, you know, get excited. Now, can I tell you this? We are going to humble the pride of the world in our own time. Yeah. You. All your mockers, we gather to celebrate your rising. Yeah. New York Times once asked me, they said, tell me, what, what's the secret of the economic empowerment of your mission? I said, we teach people to be responsible. Yes, we do what? We teach people to be responsible. Christianity is a faith of responsibility. Yes, sir. Only those who take responsibility make the most of their journey. It's not just hearing something and then writing it and walking away. It's all about responsibility. Now, let me tell you this. All of these demands, they are like steps to the top. And as low as this one is, trying to read the platform without recognizing the steps will be <laughs> an open task. Never accomplish, ah, and then you are all praying. Everyone, all the prayer warriors, the prayer squad leaders, everybody fasting. They say we will never eat until you get there, but you mustn't use this step. You will pray until you can't talk again. <laughs> I will never leave the same place. But very simply, with Bible sense, if he says take this step, take it, take the next step, take it, take the one next, take it, take the one next, take it, and then you are there. You know what? Every one of you must find your way to the platform. Because that's where you belong. He said, we are the salt of the earth. People must seek for us because of the values we bear. We are the light of the world. We show the world the way to go. We set the pace for others to follow. A city set on a hill. We are men, we are mountain top men and women. Everybody should be looking up to find where we are. We, belong, we are the mountain top generation of believers. We must be found on top and nowhere else. 
That's why I said you belong to the platform. All you need is to reckon with the steps. And then you get on there without any stress. In the name of Jesus Christ.